There are a lot of things that you can do that are really, really bad for your PC. But in today's video, I'm going to show you some of the worst things you can do for your PC and how to avoid doing those things for the future if you currently do them. Howdy, my name is Timmy here with Serious Power PC, and let's get straight into the worst things you can do for your PC. So number one, this is probably one of the absolute worst things you can do, and that is ignoring overheating and overheating related issues. This could be your graphics card is running a little too hot when you're playing a game, or your CPU is running a little too hot just running. This can lead to massive, massive problems down the road, like frying your CPU, destroying cores on your CPU, frying your GPU, potentially completely ruining your motherboard, depending on what happens to your motherboard with overheating. You can shorten the lifespan of components in your case. There's just, there's so much that if you don't believe me, just Google what issues can overheating cause in my PC. And you will see that there are just articles on articles of how you can completely and totally destroy your PC if you just ignore overheating issues. Do not ignore them. <laughs> if you're unsure whether or not your PC is running a little too hot, go to the BIOS on your PC, the BIOS screen, look at the CPU temps, look at the fan speeds if your BIOS has that information available, and look at your graphics card speeds and temperatures, or the fans on the graphics card and the temperatures. If any of these seem above the normal range, you can Google the typical range for your CPU or GPU with the rest of your build. If, if temperatures look to be a little bit too hot, then look for ways to resolve those issues. Just generally, if you are having an issue with a specific part, like if your graphics card is running too hard, Google your graphics card and then put overheating on the end of it, and you should be able to find some good and reliable ways to fix that particular part overheating. Speaking of overheating, this is something that can actually lead to parts overheating, and that is number two, ignoring dust and grime buildup. So this would be ignoring dust on the top of your PC. You see it and you're like, I'll dust it tomorrow. You please dust it today and please go ahead and dust it today. Because if you ignore dust on the top of your PC, that could and most likely means that already there is dust inside of your PC. And if dust builds up around fans and if dust builds up around heat sinks and places where dust just should not be building up, that can cause parts to slow down and to throw it back to the first point, overheat. You don't want your parts overheating because if they do, it can lead to long-term damage on your computer. So do not ignore dust buildup. We made a video a few weeks ago actually showcasing how you can clean your PC. I'll leave that in the top right hand of the screen right now. That will show you how to remove dust and grime from your PC build. Next on the list of things that you may be doing that you definitely shouldn't be doing for your PC, ignoring electrical safety. Now there's a lot that falls under electrical safety, but I'm gonna, for this video, focus on two things in particular. Having way too many things plugged into one surge protector in one outlet in the wall, and not having a UPS battery backup. Let's cover the first point having too many things plugged into one surge protector. And I will admit, I was guilty of this a few years ago, okay? I would have my PC, every monitor I owned, every, literally everything plugged into one surge protector, plugged into the wall. And I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Surge protectors are good, they really are. But if you lose power and you have a surge protector and you have your PC on, that can cause, even if it doesn't send a power surge into your PC, it can cause massive, massive problems. Files can corrupt, Windows registries can get all messed up, but we'll address how to prevent that in the second point of this problem. For now, what I would recommend for electrical safety is do not plug everything into one surge protector. A lot of things that I've read have said that they recommend you not plug more than two or three devices into a surge protector. I personally think that the biggest thing when it comes to surge protector safety is do not plug another surge protector into another surge protector just to have more outlets. 
don't do that please it can lead to some major major issues and i did that back on some of my older setups and i didn't ever thankfully have any major problems with it but i could have very easily fried everything on that second surge protector if there would have been power surges at our house so I am personally of the opinion that you can have, if your surge protector has six outlets in it, for example, I am a advocate for not freaking out and going and buying tons of surge protectors, but if you have six outlets, again, don't plug a second surge protector into the one outlet just so that you can have six more outlets, okay? Only use those six outlets for devices on the surge protector and that actually brings me to my second point which is consider getting a ups battery backup even if it's not a high powered one even if it's not one with all the fancy bells and whistles get something some device some ups battery backup so that if the power goes out you don't potentially brick your machine because it shouldn't just be a brick it shouldn't completely ruin a computer to lose power to it but it is not good for a computer to lose power and let's say you were moving files over or downloading a game when your power goes out you can have major major issues with that so literally just a basic ups that allows your pc to stay on for five to ten extra minutes is going to be an absolute game changer what i recommend and what i personally do is I have my PC and one of my monitors connected to my UPS battery backup. That way, if the power goes out in our house, I can safely shut down my computer without risking losing files, without risking destroying hard drives by power suddenly being lost to them. I don't risk any issues at all, and my UPS battery backup typically keeps my PC on for roughly 30 minutes so when the power goes out my ups battery backup makes this obnoxious so obnoxious when you're trying to sleep beeping sound but that's good because that means if i'm anywhere in the house i can hear that the power has just went out if i don't know about it so check out ups battery backups we sell ups battery backups at serious power pc i can leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to check those out but i would significantly i mean like i i would really i can't believe i didn't have a ups until like a year ago but please please protect your equipment protect your hardware and get a ups if you don't currently have one the final thing that's terrible for your computer that you definitely want to avoid doing that i want to cover in this video is never backing anything up my first hard drive with the original it was a hard drive in a laptop that i had it was one of those laptops you set on your lap and it burns the crap out of your thighs but dadgummit i need to finish rendering this video i lost everything from the first two years of making youtube videos that i did i lost i mean if it wasn't uploaded to youtube it is gone and that makes me so sad because it can be simply avoided just order a uh, even one terabyte external hard drive or external ssd off of amazon and back stuff up onto that it could have saved me so much time so much headache i do not want you guys to lose a bunch of files so please please back up your files what i personally like to do nowadays is i like to have all of the information actually stored on my computer but then i also have it stored on some external hard drive and then the most critical information on my computer i also have stored in cloud storage so that if say for example a fire was to happen at our house and burn the house down and i lose the computer and i lose the hard drive that i have the stuff backed up to i still have my critical files that i need to have backed up i'm not saying back up call of duty black ops 6 onto the cloud i'm saying back up the critical files that you would legitimately be pained to lose onto a cloud server that way it is off site so that if there is an issue you can have those files ready to download when you need them and one more thing quick little bonus tip 
not updating your PC ever is something that I see. It just confuses and stuns me because for one, your computer is way less secure if you don't update your computer. They're literally a big part of Windows updates is security fixes so that holes aren't left in the software that people can get into your machine and hack your computer and just mess up your computer. So that, but also compatibility. Like I have a friend who has a PC who didn't update it for over a year and I, they just recently said, you know, hey, my mouse isn't working. Any question why? And I looked and I was like, you haven't updated Windows in a year and a half. And they were like, you think that has something to do with it? Like, I just don't personally understand not updating Windows, even if you don't download smaller updates, which I still definitely recommend downloading smaller updates because smaller updates are typically what cause little tiny inconveniences to happen. Major updates always come with so many security fixes. So it's just a big mistake to decide to never update your PC. I'm not necessarily saying going from say Windows 10 to Windows 11. I personally still run Windows 10. I think it runs great and I don't see the reason to upgrade to Windows 11. However, I'm sure there are more security risks with having Windows 10 than there are Windows 11 because Windows 10 is not getting quite as frequent updates as Windows 11. So all of that you can research on your own. You can look up security relation from Windows 10 to Windows 11, uh, but I would not just never update your PC because your PC is not going to always auto install updates even if you have auto install updates selected. So please up your date your PC it's very important. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it from this video. If you learned something from this video, then be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing. It's free, you can always unsubscribe later and hit that bell, that way you're notified when a new video of ours drops. Be sure to check out SeriousPowerPC.com because we have some Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales going on right now that could save you anywhere from 50 to $200 on a PC and you'll get a free mouse and keyboard combo with any PC that you order over $1,000. Consider checking out our affiliate program at Sirius Power PC because you could win a free PC if you do so. Thank you all so, so much for watching this week's video. My name is Timmy, here with Sirius Power PC. I'll see you guys next week.